Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to create that makeup look I've been promising y'all. So yeah, we have a few new products. We have, of course, y'all know the brushes. I'm going to use those. Um, we have the um, anti-aging airbrush makeup with SPF of 8. Um, it's by Sally Hansen Healing Beauty. I got this. And then I've got this busted up rose quartz um, palette. Well, rose crystal palette. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Uh, there is some colors in there that is, you know, okay to use. But a lot of them was busted up. But I'm going to use it, okay, you guys? Because I really want to create this makeup look because i have like a full week of appointments i forgot that i not only have appointment for tomorrow i have appointment for tuesday then i have appointment for wednesday then i have appointment for friday so i only have one day <laughs> so one day to relax basically so i'm just like okay girl you better go ahead and do this video because yeah you're gonna be probably tired I don't want to say I'm going to be tired, but you know you're going to be tired if you're going to that many places at one time. So, all right. So, I decided to go ahead and create this video. I do have on an outfit of the day. I'm going to show y'all. I have it on right now. But we first do the makeup, do the hair, and then I show y'all my outfit. So, anyways, first thing I do, y'all know I use my... um my eyelash curler this is the best i know i keep saying this in every video but honestly this makes a difference with my lashes and i just absolutely love it like come on now y'all ain't noticed my lashes like my lashes look amazing and it's not because of the primer because i show y'all my lashes before using the primer so i'm gonna go one more time because i want a real good I want my lashes to be really curled really nicely because I have a feeling that this is going to be a beautiful makeup look, but we will see. <laughs> okay, so um, anyways, uh, let me go ahead and put on my NYX, the brow glue. No, 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 no. Okay, I forgot one more product we're going to use. This is the L'Oreal Revital Lift. Um, I think it's called the... It's the hyaluronic acid. Um, so what it is, is it, it's a potent, it, it has a potent hydration attracting molecule that naturally, that is naturally found in the skin. That's what I like about the Revitalist. I made a video on my Sheila Shemay channel about a exfoliating product that they have that I can't find. I mean, you have to literally probably search, search the internet to find it. But the Revital Lift brand, the Revital Lift products are good. I've tried them. So they, they're, they are basically like products that are naturally produced. And that's what I like. Like I always talk about collagen. I want to give me some more of my collagen serum, especially underneath my eyes. I feel like I'm starting to see this. And it's because of everything I've told y'all about. And you know what? Sometimes... You know, stuff get the showing and the thing is, is that it's here and now it's time. Okay. That's all I can say. I know y'all probably still going, what? But anyways, y'all, uh, this product has a natural molecule that is naturally found in the skin. It enhances the skin's own moisture retention for lasting hydration. Um, it says immediately deeply replenishes hydration in one week. It visibly plumps for younger looking skin in two weeks. It visibly reduces wrinkles. So this may be a product that I might purchase because y'all know I like hy hyaluronic acid. A lot of my skincare products has uh, that ingredient, but I got a sample y'all. And you know how you can be looking on YouTube and these advertising things come up 
and you click on it and it seems like it's a really good product and then you realize oh I can get a free product so that is exactly what happened with this I get a new product so I'm gonna use that today as well y'all hold on y'all I need some air so I'm gonna pull down the window real quick so I can get some air so my makeup won't be like because I'm starting to sweat right now hold on for just a second really all right y'all I was like really is my is my phone gonna come on anyways y'all so I just turned up the AC and also, you guys, I'm just getting ready to show y'all these products. Let me wipe off of my face. Today is a very warm day, and I have on this dress, but we're going to get this done. But it was hot yesterday. So I'm looking at both of these primers going, which one should I use? This is not a primer, so I feel like I can use both of these. I don't know. Maybe I should just go with this one. I don't know if I should mix the two together. I'm a little scared about mixing stuff, certain things together. So let's go in with this sample, okay? This is like moisturizing type of product, but it has hyaluronic acid. That's enough for a primer. So that's exactly what I'm going to do is put this on as a primer and a moisturizer. I don't think you need much, so I can probably use this a, probably about another four or five times, probably. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to take a, a whole lot because it's a good bit on my hands. I'm just going to rub it in underneath my eyes a little bit, but not real close. Just right here where my eyes look tired. And my eyes is looking tired too is because I have been going to a lot of doctor's appointments and stuff like that. So, yeah, a lot of times I am tired, but I have to get up and go to these appointments and things like that. So, that's one reason why too. But my, my under eyes look the way that they do. So, that's the... And now, all right, we got that going right there. Got it on my face. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this into my moisturizing or my makeup pouch here. And yeah <laughs> go ahead and put it over there now i can put on my neats the brow glue on my brows so while we're doing this how is everybody doing i hope y'all are doing very good i hope all of y'all are happy and living your best even though it's a hard time right now but i hope y'all are like happy as i am i am so happy y'all wouldn't believe how happy i am right now um <laughs> i am super duper happy and the day what's that the day of my happiness is about a few more weeks so I'm very happy, y'all. And I don't want to get into it because it's one of those things that is what I've been praying for. So I'm not going to get into detail about it. Just know that I will vlog as much as I can when that day comes, okay? All right. So now I got my brows. I'm letting them dry just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my powder here. This one, the black one. This is the expert wear night sky. I like this one. I love my brows really dark and intense. That's just what I like. And so we're going to go over the brows here in a second. 
but what should I do now? I know I'm going to do something like a cut crease. I do have the ELF 16 hour camo concealer matte finish here. And I always use this to cut my crease. Okay. Um, so, but first I got to prime my lids and y'all, another thing I need to do is I don't want to use this airbrush makeup, uh, with a brush. I would rather use it with a beauty sponge. So while this is drying, let me get the beauty sponge and I'll be back. I'm sorry, y'all. All right. I got my beauty sponge. So now let's go ahead and do the brows because we're going to do the eye makeup first and then we're going to get into the face makeup even though i want to do the face makeup first because i'm really anxious on trying this airbrush makeup but y'all know i always do it with my eyes just in case i have fallout or anything like that um i can correct it with the makeup or the concealer or whatnot so i have a few breakouts y'all like i i kind of like arch my brows with the razor i do it myself but i'm having a few breakouts so i know i changed up my um what it is is this i know what it is it's the medicine that i take for my fibroids i sweat so much especially it's, it's really all day long but especially in the evening time and at night and my pores is like stopped up basically basically just clogged every time i use something to declog my pores um yeah, I mean, I just sweat and they get, it's not like they get better. You know what I'm saying? Because it's constantly like, my pores is constantly being clogged all the time. So I've got to try to find me a good cleanser that will clean out my pores, but without overly doing it. Because you can overly uh, clean your pores. And I don't want to do that either. But I need something that will clean my pores every day while I'm taking this medication and see if I can, you know, um, get my pores cleaned here. And I don't know, my brows is probably not going to look the neatest just because I'm, like I said, I razored my brows the other day and a lot of times my brows you know, it'd be a little tender after you do that. It's not real tender, but it's tender. So, everybody, what's going on? <laughs> I got some comments, and I want to answer the comments. Um, I got some personal comments, and... Y'all know I always get y'all personal comments because I don't... Okay, I want to answer the first question. Um, someone asked me, uh, why do I have my comments where it's, you know, if you're going to leave a comment, you have to, you know, the comment will be reviewed. Reason why I do that is because someone was putting... Just the terriblest links in my description, or not in my description, but in my uh, comment area in my description box, basically. And I didn't like that. I had reported it to YouTube and all of that, and um, they got to, you know, looking at everything, and I noticed that they would take it off, but sometimes it would be in my comment section for two days or so because i know it's a lot of people on here i'm not complaining about the time frame because i know it's a lot of people on youtube so i'm not going to complain about that but i just kind of noticed that and i was like okay i'm tired of this even though i know comments really do help a channel 
like it's the likes as well as well as comments and also as subscribers that's how you grow but if you're getting stuff in your comment section that you don't like and it's not good then what is a person to do because you can't just like some people were saying there's people that put stuff on their comment page and all of that and they don't agree with it and it's like it's continuous well not continuous but yes it is continuing like it continues the, the, whoever's doing it won't stop so basically i just have everything reviewed and then if it's a good comment if it's not bad then it will get to me and i do see some comments However, y'all know that I just been extremely, extremely busy. Like, I am taking care of me and doing everything to make sure that that is done completely. Like, everything. Um, and so, a lot of times when I do see the comments, even if it's just one or two comments... I may not actually respond to it, but like I said, I got to get back to that video where I do respond to comments. I like to do it with a video form. So that's what I want y'all to know is that I'm not ignoring your comments. It's just that, um, yeah, I just been so busy and stuff, but I do got to take the time out. Now I'm going to use my She Glam. Uh, this is the butterscotch um what is it skin influencer full coverage foundation balm so that was one question and i thought you know what i'm going to respond to it while we create this makeup look now this is going to be a way too light but y'all know i make it work and this is something that I usually use un underneath my eyes to brighten my under eye. I don't need that with the concealer, the Mali concealer that I got. So I really don't need to use that as much unless I got to be in a rush. And this is something really nice and quick and fast to put on. But the Mali one is fast too. So I, I just decided to use something a little different today just because... I feel amped up to create this look and see, just take a look at this makeup and see how beautiful this makeup is going to look. We'll see. And if y'all see that I'm a little red around my brow bone, just know that's, that's a pimple there. Um, it's not a pimple. It's actually where I kind of like raising my hair there, but, um, yeah. So another question was, you know, asking me about a car, a car vlogs that they really missed that because they felt like they were in, <laughs> they felt like they were when they would watch my video. This way I understood it. it's like when they was watching my video, they said they felt like they were really in there with me and they love my sense of humor even though I am going through so much hell, but I still remain, you know, um, you know, I still have a positive um, attitude. And baby, listen, we got to stay positive no matter what. We've got to stay positive no matter what people do. We can't let ourselves go. We've got to stay positive and just stick to what you know and what you, you know, just just keep going on. And you can't let people take away your joy. You know what I'm saying? Never let people do that because a lot of times that's what they want to do is try to take away your joy and take away something that you enjoy doing. And another thing is, you know, I'm like this because I get it from my mama and even my daddy, even though it was a struggle when I was a child, you know, it really was. I mean, it was like my parents sacrificed everything to make sure I had what I needed and I forever be thankful for that. And so one thing I know about my parents is that 
even though things were sad, they still remain, they kept themselves together. They didn't lose it. You know what I'm saying? Like some people absolutely, when everything gets really bad and they can't help it. I know it's terrible when you are going through a shit ton of stuff and look like nobody is listening to you and you trying to talk to people and tell people what's going on and they don't believe you or they just don't want to hear it. So what I'm saying with this is that even though you go through things in life, no matter what it is, it could be a divorce. It could be a separation. It could be anything, anything that goes on in this world. We can't let things like that take away some of the precious things that is on earth for us to do. Like, or the things that we enjoy to do, we can't stop. Like today, I'm creating this makeup video, but you wouldn't believe what happened, you know, and what's been going on for a long time. We talking about years, we talking about over 10 years, okay, of stuff. But I know that I love fashion and I like coming over here and chit chat with y'all and put on makeup, get cute. And all that. And I'm not going to let nobody stop me from doing that. Okay. Not nobody's going to stop me from doing that. Um, so it's one of those things. And uh, one thing that keeps me motivated more than ever is I think I've mentioned this to y'all. Now we're going to get into this makeup palette called Rose Crystal. Okay. And we're going to start. We've got one of these brushes that I think I'm going to use into the crease or the outer V. Got a couple of them. And then this is for the liner. We're going to try to use all the brushes. I'm going to try to. But the first one is going to have to come from like one of my regular brushes here. All right. So what was I getting ready to say? Um, It'll get to me in a minute. But yeah, just don't let... Just don't let people like break you and try to take away some. Oh yeah, here it is. It came to me that fast. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I never had pictured, oh, this is very pigmented. I had never pictured myself doing YouTube. Never. I used to watch it and look at ladies do makeup mainly. I was more into the makeup even though i love the fashion okay so this is the thing is i never pictured myself doing youtube because my self-esteem was i wouldn't say it was very low at the time but it was just like pressure from people and what i knew was going on in my apartment and I was just more focused on that. And I have already told y'all about this before, I believe. Um, one early morning, I was real sick, okay? And there's some things behind that. And I've already told y'all about that and how it came about. But I was sick and I went to sleep one night. And I was I always asked the Lord, you know, because I was so sick. I was like, Lord, you know, I would say my prayer and then I would just go to sleep. I was so sick. And um, so it was another point in my life where I was real sick, but not as bad as it was in this apartment. But it was bad. And I went off to sleep and one early morning, one early morning, um, one early morning. I woke up and some of y'all may not believe this because uh, some people have different religions, different beliefs, but I'm telling you, it's real. So when I woke up, um, the Lord spoke to me and he said, create you a YouTube channel. And I was like, Oh, Lord, you know, I just woke up and I heard him say that, the Lord, because he can speak to you. And I was like, 
I can't do that. Like I was very, I was still in that bashful mode. You know, I just thought, you know, girl, you can't do nothing like that. I thought about also just being bullied about my accent and I still get bullied from a certain individual and, you know, and the way I talk, you know, but I will not change the way I talk no matter what somebody think about it. And, um, so I was like, you know what? I can't do that. I, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't, I don't know. He said, do what you do. And the thing that I was doing was I was so into makeup. That's what I was doing. I was every little chance I could get some makeup. I was getting it and I was putting it on my face and I was, I had a small collection, but what I got, it was stuff that I liked and I always looked good. I never stepped out without makeup because it was like a passion of mine. So when the Lord told me that I knew to respond to it, I was like, you know what? I do whatever the Lord tells me to do. Um, and so, yeah, some of y'all ain't going to believe it. And then some of y'all that know that God can talk to you, you're going to believe what I'm saying. And so I said, okay, I'm going to start. And I was going to wait. I said, Lord, how am I going to do this when I don't have the materials? I don't have, at the time I didn't have a laptop. I didn't have a ring light. I didn't have much makeup. I just had the average amount of makeup. But I say a little bit more than average because I was buying makeup products. So it wasn't like I only had one palette and one of this or one of that. I had a variety, but it wasn't a whole lot, but it was a good bit. And um, so I was telling the Lord that I was like, how in the world am I going to do this? And I don't have the the things that it takes to create, you know, these videos. And sure enough, okay, I was so, I was so like determined to do what the Lord wanted me to do that I said, okay, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to do it because I'm going to obey the Lord. I'm going to do what he tell me to do and, and let him supply whatever I need. Okay. That's how much I believe in the Lord. So I started recording on my little iPhone. I had a little bitty iPhone. And those first videos you'll see, they're like so crazy right now. People have torn my videos up on my Shooter Shmay channel. I wish YouTube would fix that. Um, because, I mean, the words are not even with my voice and it, the the just so many people have... I guess copy the videos so many times or whatever. I don't I don't know how that came about, but it's completely destroyed. Like some of my videos, you know, it's like kind of hard to watch because it's just so bad. Y'all yeah, will go ahead. Well, first of all, I didn't put in my crease color. Um, so I went ahead and I started. And y'all within 30 days. I got a blessing from God. And so I was able to get what I needed to um to make my videos more, I guess, more beautiful in a sense. Like I would get I had everything everybody else had, which would be good lighting. Um had my laptop to edit. All those things like that. So I was like, okay, the, the Lord knows everything. So I bought what I needed, which was very inexpensive. The things that I chose, you know me, I'm always going to go for a bargain. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money on stuff and all that when I can find something for a reasonable price. So that goes with makeup. Y'all know I get the, some of the cheapest palettes. Like this one is a cheap palette. And I was like, you know what? This will work as long as it will edit. As long as I can, you know, use my camera. Because I didn't even have a camera at that time. As long as my camera work. As long as, you know, all this stuff works. I don't care how inexpensive it is as long as it works. So got that. 
started beginning my, you know, my channel. And so it was hard at first. It was very, very hard. Y'all wouldn't believe how many times I would put on that camera and just go over and over until I felt like it sound good. And then I had to realize that, hey, Sheila, be you. And and that's all I can do is be me. So I went ahead and created the videos and instantly like I got a lot of good feedback. A lot of people was like enjoying the video and telling me, you know, um, you know, they hadn't heard anyone with the accent on YouTube like mine. And, you know, it was kind of funny. And but yet it was also inspirational. And so, um, yeah, so there we go. That's how I began. However, some people, you know, y'all know how it is on YouTube. People wants to hate and you know and try to you know discourage you and try to stop you from doing something that you love to do and never let nobody do that you do it when you want to because i took a break from youtube for a little while but i came right back because i took a break because i wanted to not because of people but because i needed a break because of what i was experiencing in these places where I was staying at. I needed a break to think about my safety and all kinds of things like that. I really couldn't concentrate on YouTube. So yeah, that that's just basically how I really, you know, began doing YouTube. I did feel like, oh my God, I was nervous. I was like, I don't know if anybody's going to understand me because I was used to people telling me, you know, can you repeat what you're saying? Can you just, you know, do this? Can you say this again? And I don't understand what you're saying and blah, 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 blah. I was so used to that. So I just got kind of like, I don't know if this is going to be good for me. Um, but when I got in there and I just said, heck with it, I'm going to be me. And you know what? I went very far. And some of my videos are played worldwide okay and i'm very um happy about that that my reviews got on some of these brands they put my video on their you know on their pages all of that and i was very very happy it just felt like a really i just had amazing feeling you know how you just get amazing feeling like it feels like finally you know finally you know um you know people know that you have talent but sometimes people don't want to acknowledge it you know they just want you to feel like oh you can't do this and you can't do that but deep down inside they know you can um so now y'all i'm gonna do the cut crease i'm gonna use this here this uh, ELF 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. Uh, this used to be my favorite. I used to always do my cut crease with this. As y'all probably already know, if you look at some videos, you will see why I use this. Um, so the next thing would be this. Um, let's see, what else did I get a comment? Oh, yeah, there was a comment to me about my personal things that occurred here in this particular um what has happened in this area just know that justice is on its way and when i say justice i've been saying that for a long time but i really mean it justice is on its way okay um I tell y'all what I'm going through and the reason why I'm going through it. And I will never stop uh, talking about it. Okay. We all have the freedom of speech. Right now, I don't want to talk about something just because um, what I've been wanting is actually in progress. And hopefully it doesn't change. So I'm asking all of y'all that believe in prayer, that this person does not 
change his or her mind, okay, that it goes through because it's next month and that's all I'm going to say about it. And I pray before God, and I did, I've been praying ever since Friday that this, whoever this person is, I'm going to say it like that, which I know, but I won't say it over here because it's a, it's a, what I've been asking for y'all, what I've been asking for. So I'm not going to talk too much about it, but just know it is in progress and I'm happier as ever. I can't wait. I wish it was the first week of September. I really do. I wish it was just a few days away. That's how anxious and excited I am to get in there and, and say what I need to say. So, yeah, y'all, that is in progress. And I love every single one of y'all that's been praying for me and keeping me in your prayers because the thing is, a lot of y'all get it. I got another comment where someone said, you know what? You are the only one in that neighborhood that these people are after. And I've been saying that for a long time. I've been telling y'all with my uh, chat videos when I was chatting inside the car and even inside this apartment. I told y'all it's the very same thing. So who you are, you are completely correct. And yeah, it, it, I, I am a target right here in this neighborhood and was a target from the beginning. Just like you have said. You're 100% accurate. Um, but, and the thing, but the thing that really touched me about what you said is that, you know what, you is a strong bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> and I want to say that I have to give props to my mother and my father because I used to didn't be this way. I used to didn't be this strong. Okay, I used to be very like I used to just let people just do whatever they wanted to to me, and I sat back and just let these people do this stuff. Um, but you know, as I got older, I got wiser, and when I became a mother, I had to do things on my own, and when I started doing things on my own. That's when I knew that you know what Sheila, it's it, you got the you know, you know you get, you realize then that you've grown and you gotta defend yourself when somebody does things that's not right. You've got to defend yourself, and when you cannot, then you know to get with uh the law, a judicial system, get to an officer or an attorney, whatever you got to do um, to get the justice that you deserve. Because I'm not going to have no one tell me what to do, when to eat, when to sit down, when to stand up, what, you know, to pay for this, pay for that. I'm not going to do that. And you're right. You're right about what you said. You know, people love to just, you know, they pick certain people and they just think that they can just like control a person, like absolutely want to treat you like as if you underneath them and no one's underneath nobody. You know what I'm saying? We all are equal in this world. And so you got it right on the point. Okay. And a lot of y'all get it. And I'm happy to know that a lot of y'all do get what's going on in my life. And you also understand what's going on in the inside. It's not just that, like one person said, do, do you think this is all on the outside or do you think it's in the inside too? It's in, it's both. It's in, it's on the outside and the inside. 
and I have the freedom of speech. So just like the person told me, say, you got the freedom of speech to talk about whatever you want to. Um, you know, you just can't put your hands on people, which I know that and I never do. And, you know, I mind my own business, but I do, I do activate my, uh, constitution, right. And I speak about all of this stuff because I want justice and y'all know I've said this over and over and I don't care what it takes. Y'all know I've said this over and over. I don't care what it takes or what I got to do to get justice. You know, I'm going to obtain it and I'm going to receive it uh, one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? When I say the other, I mean, even if I have to reach out and reach out and reach out, I'm going to get my justice. But another uh, commenter um, person that commented was saying, you know what? <laughs> this was very cute. I thought it was cute and it was like, um, <laughs> this person was like, I need you, I need you to be my wife. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> and then it was like a laugh, a laughing thing. And then this person was like, you know, I just like how strong you are. You are a very attractive woman and for you to be that strong and be a a woman that is single and to face all this that you face. He's seen my eye. He's seen everything. He has, he's a big fan of mine and he knows what I've been through. He knows the situation. He knows all these doctor's appointments going in there, facing people by myself. It's just terrible. But at the same time, He'll tell me, you know what, you is a strong woman. And that I, he said that he feel, he said, I feel that, you know, you having a disability like that, it's a damn shame that the world, how the world is towards people with disabilities. And I said, you know what, you better believe it. I've experienced it and it's not right. However, A lot of things in this world is not right. And and I have to say that another thing that he said was, which I won't mention it because I'm not the only one in this home. Now, if I had my own place, I would just come out and say it, even though people watch my video. You know, haters, they keep up with you because... Uh, when they're doing a lot of stuff that's against the law, you know, they want to keep up with you because they want to just know if you know what they are doing. And it happens to be, I knew what was happening just this week. <laughs> so, <laughs> But anyways, y'all, you know, it is all good. Like, for real, it is all good. I am really, I just cannot wait. That's what I'm trying to say. I cannot wait. Like that son, I can't wait. That's how I feel. I really cannot wait until that time come. But the thing is, y'all pray for me that this person do not back out of this. Whoever, just pray for me that this goes through, okay? And I won't get into detail just because that's how serious this this situation is. It's not real serious, but you know, it's it's serious en- enough that um it's completely false. And it's not real. I don't want y'all to think, what in the hell is it? It's just lies and I'll get to that once I get to that date of facing this person and I'll vlog everything and I will basically tell y'all then because I'm not going to talk about it until that time comes and everything is done okay and the 
judgment be done because it's like a dream come true however it's some evil behind it i'm not gonna sit here and play like there's not no evil behind it it's people behind it y'all it is so obvious um and even a lot of people have let me know that it's evil behind it but you know Y'all know how it is. It's just people just don't want to see people progress. And and it's so funny how all this happened. About time, you know, I'm starting to get attention from companies. See what I'm saying? So people get very jealous and they get very envious. And there's not always a reason. You know, it's not always a reason. And, um, and I found out that... I found out so many things, y'all, that I, and that some of y'all even been mentioning. I found out all of it, and I'm happy. You know, I'm I'm seriously happy about it because it's good to actually know what you've been thinking, and you actually get the verification of it, and it's real good. And it's all good. So I'm very excited to know it. And the thing is, is that when people do stuff, what I'm talking about, and I'm not mentioning names or anything like that. I'm just talking about in general with anything. When people backstab people and pretend, uh, you know, that stuff does come back and bite it does it come back and bite and when i say it comes back and bite that means that person will experience the same thing that i already knew what was going on but i was just gonna see how deep is the love like that song how deep is your love and i found out it, it wasn't deep it wasn't deep at all um, and do I still smile and laugh and keep moving and doing what I got to do? Yes, I do. Like tomorrow I go to my appointment. I know what has been done while I'm away, uh, to my appointments. Um, I know a lot of stuff, but I can't get into it, but y'all just know that things are happening, but it's things that I've been wanting. And that's the way I kind of look at it. It's like stuff that I've been praying about and wanting things to happen so I can move forward with my life, okay? Move on and move forward and go on with my life and be as happy as I can be to the best of my ability. And uh, this won't be the only time. It will be some more coming up for sure. But it is a step forward to justice is what I'm saying. And anybody that want to take that, you know, I've got the freedom of speech. I can talk about what I want to. Um, but I'm not going to get right into it. But I will let y'all know I'm going to vlog everything. As much as I can, y'all know that only I can go so far with the vlogging, but I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can when that time comes. And like I said, y'all be praying with me that this don't change. Be praying with me that this person do not back down, okay? Because this person has a chance to back down or either um keep it going and i would love to keep it going and face this person and begin the the justice begin my justice journey for everything that's been done to me in this area and in other areas so yeah y'all i'm i really am happy and I'm just happy to, like, I'm happy to be alive, basically. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm happy to be alive and actually talking to you guys about everything, about what's going on a little bit. 
without saying names, without saying exactly what it is. Y'all find out. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on for this weekend for me. Um, but I'm very happy. I, like I dreamed last night, like I dreamed, even though I kept waking up, it was like a really weird night. It was so hot and then it would get cold and it's probably my medicine or whatnot, but I wouldn't get real, real cold, but it was like, you know, I know what medicine it is. It's the medicine for my fibroids. Um, I can't wait to have that surgery. And just, I'm ready to come off this medicine. I don't like all this burning up and all this stuff and then getting cold. And I don't like it. I feel like it gets in the way of me creating my makeup videos and stuff like that. And uh, I don't say makeup videos, but my fashion videos, like I'm sweating like crazy when I create those videos. Um, but I get to see the doctor tomorrow and he's probably going to want to know when do I want to get this taken care of? And honestly, the way my stomach feels, I want to get it done as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, is that my thyroid is also in line. That's why I got to go come Friday. I have to have my FNA Friday. So it's like two things I'm trying to do, but one has to be done after the other one. But the, like I told y'all before in a video, my thyroid or the nodule, I'm going to do an RFA, like what I've done with my leg. Y'all had my surgery um, Friday. And so it's looking good. Um, the only thing about the RFA of the leg, I feel like it makes your leg loose, like your skin loose. And I, I, I believe it's because the vein has been destroyed and it's just like doing the process that it needs to do, you know, to get that out of the system, like your own immune system kind of takes over. And um, I think that's what it is. But my skin gets instantly loose. Like my leg down here is loose. Um, and I got to call the doctor because what I notice is right down there in one area, it absolutely almost feel numb like. And the other two legs wasn't like that. Uh, the other two procedures, I didn't feel numb in those areas. So, does it feel really numb? No, like I can walk around and it doesn't feel like, you know, the dots and all that stuff. No, it just feels sort of like when I shaved today, it was like, what is this? It feels a little numb. But see, this time it's on the bottom, like it's from the knee down. So, it's not all the way up like the other two procedures. So I'm just like, maybe that's what's going on, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the professional, but, you know, I was just kind of like, what's going on here? Why is that feeling like that? Um, and this time, the procedure was very easy. Like, even, but I have to say the left leg was worse than the right leg the right leg it was like very easy like i didn't hardly feel the the little uh numbing that might be what's going on it might be still numb because they put a good bit of numbing stuff in there maybe that's still in there you know what i'm saying like it's gonna take a little while you know for it to unnumb or the numbing stuff I don't know, but I'm going to call them and ask them just to see what's going on. They'll tell me what it is. Um, but yeah, y'all, I mean, so got that done. So I feel like, okay, Sheila, 
that's done now what do you need to do now well what i need to do now is concentrate on this um this thyroid and the fibroids and i know when i go see the doctor i know he's probably gonna want to schedule it and everything but i'll ask him something because one thing that's that's got me a little bit like i don't know i feel like i should do the thyroid first is that i want to make sure that you know my airway is completely like you know good because when you go to surgery or you're going to have some kind of surgery like that you know they put tubes i think they do they put tubes down the throat and all that stuff i want to make sure that everything is good and all that but i'm ready for these things to come out though i really am i'm ready to do this and it'd be less one less thing to worry about anymore like i don't have to worry about it i don't have to think about it no more and it's done basically so yeah y'all so so that's what's been going on, y'all, and just health and justice. <laughs> that's the pure truth. Health and justice. That's that's what I want. That's what I been wanting, and that's what I've been trying to get for a while. And I feel like now is my chance. So for this now it's a lot of stuff so it won't be just like what am i trying to say it probably will be more time because it's it's this been over 10 years y'all of agony and frustration of what has happened to me in my life with people that hate and wanted to see me gone okay they wanted to take my life and that's the pure truth and um so it's gonna be many others but i feel like you know when you get that first you know that first opportunity i feel like oh this is the beginning this is this is what i've been wanting this is what i've been asking for okay and when I say asking for, I'm talking about with the law enforcement, not with people, but with the law enforcement. I've been wanting them to realize, hey, I am going through a lot. People are breaking and entering. They are going through my clothes and stuff and going through everything that is sent through the U.S. mail. Um, they are tearing up my stuff and then dropping it off to me, broken and torn and tampered with, and just so many things, you know, just all break-ins, my deadbolts being broken off my uh, door, walking up to my apartment, getting my keys out and get to the door and the door just opens up when I get ready, when I grab the knob to go in. So this is, it's a lot of stuff, y'all. That's why I tell y'all. And that's why a lot of y'all get it. And some some of y'all be commenting and just, at, just checking on me. Because you know that this is criminal activity. And it's something that you don't take lightly, but you take it seriously. It's not something that you just say, oh, you know, you know. No, you take this stuff very seriously because it is no joke when you know somebody is trying to do something to you it's no joke it's no joke so take it seriously people if you ever experience this stuff get right on it because when i first moved out i was new to it and i was always with my mom and my mom always handled stuff so I was just happy to be like having my own place and, you know, taking care of my own responsibilities and stuff. But at the same time, a lot of people that were my enemies were breaking, breaking and entering in my home and getting the keys and access to my home. 
and they absolutely was putting things in my stuff to get me sick and one reason why i'm going through this with my veins is because of what was put into my personal stuff my things that i ingested and that is like drinks food whatever they was going through everything y'all and that i will say before any judge and i've already told y'all this a long time ago and i love to share my true story because if i can help someone that may be in this situation i want y'all to know that hey i am going through it too i'm not by my you're not by yourself and i'm not by myself so yeah and the sickening thing about it is that for me it's people that i know that's the sickening thing that's the thing that hurts the most is that knowing that it's people that you've been knowing for years that's been that contributed to this stuff and also outsiders people that i don't know but it's also people that i do know and and have done some terrible things in life so it's like this i'm ready <laughs> like they'll look at this i'm ready I'm ready. This is the day I've been waiting on. Been waiting on this for a long time. Justice is mine. So y'all keep me in your prayers. Just keep me in your prayers. And just know that my videos will continue. I'll continue to create my videos. It's just a one day thing. You know, a one day thing. And it's going to be the truth against the false, basically, type of situation. And it is so falsified, y'all. This situation is so falsified. It ain't even funny how falsified this is. But I'm going to locate, well, not locate, but I'm going to contact uh, those that had told me who to contact and talk to. So I'll be doing some more things myself, just like this person called themselves doing what they did well i know my rights too so i'm going to do what someone had mentioned me to for me to do and let them know what happened and i'm gonna do that and also to do the other things so just letting you know that I'm going to do that because this is completely was completely out of line and uh, so yeah and y'all see me up here doing a makeup look like <laughs> I'm not letting nobody take None of this, this that I enjoy doing and stuff like this, this is going to continue. Um, yeah. One hundred is going to continue. You know, people going to either like it or hate it, y'all, but this is something that I'm doing on YouTube and I'm going to continue to do it. And I was, <laughs> believe it or not, somebody told me, and I thought it was really weird. This person was very nice, though. But I just thought it was really weird. 
this person told me something about going back to something. I'm going to say it like that. And I said to myself, nope, I'm not going backwards. I'm moving forward. Why would I go backwards? And that's the root of the situation. That's the root of the problem. I'm not going backwards. I'm going forward. I'm not going to be the person that people want me to be, which is for me to do whatever other whatever people want me to do. That's what they want me to do. Like they want me to sit back and just not say nothing and just do whatever people want me to do. I'm not that person. No one should be that way. You should not let nobody tell you what to do unless it's an advice that's a good advice and you accept that advice but just somebody telling you what to do i've been down that line where i used to listen to people and i was scared of them and they was bullying me and taking control of me and i will not i will not be controlled by no one except for God and Jesus Christ. That's it. Uh, nobody will ever get a chance to do that ever again. It was done one time before when I was bullied and I wouldn't speak up for myself. You know, I was scared and all of that. I was scared of people. Didn't quite understand. I was trying to put stuff together, wondering why people was treating me this way, doing me that way, and I had done nothing. But you know, hate don't have to have a reason. People just hate because they want to. Um, and it can be anybody. I'm not just talking about now, I'm not just talking about race things. I'm talking about just regular people, people like you and I, just you know, people of your own race or whatnot can hate you for absolutely no reason. So it doesn't mean when I say, Hey, I don't want y'all to think it's always, you know, someone of another race. It could be just anybody. It can be friends. It could be family. It could be just anybody. And I refuse and I will not. I am 46 years old and I can do whatever I want to as long as I don't hurt nobody or put my fingers or hands on anybody. Um, and I abide by any kind of rules, okay? That's what I'm saying. Uh, outside of that, I can do whatever I want to as long as I'm not hurting nobody else. Um so you, people can like it or hate it. That's okay. You can hate it. I don't care. Um, but I love what I do, which is just staying productive. Staying productive. This is a hobby. I'm not getting paid. It's a hobby, but I like the hobby. Okay. It keeps me motivated. I don't have to sit down and think about all of my situations, my disability, things like that. I don't want to sit down and be thinking about all of that. I don't. I like to keep my, my faith up and I like to, um, yeah, I think I used the wrong brush. I did, but I like to stay motivated and and positive. I feel like going up a little higher with this shimmer shade here. And I haven't even talked about this stuff, but we would talk about it here in a little bit. So, oh y'all.
Y'all stay positive too. I know some of y'all are going through things and, you know, we, it might be in different forms of things, but no, stay positive and do what you got to do. Had the best night's sleep, like nothing interfering with me. Like I'm really happy, like just having the best night's sleep. Um, got up and decided to create this makeup look. Like I ain't, I ain't losing no sleep over this, or anything gonna stop me from going to get health care. No. And they, trust me, people was watching, you know, just to see if I would be up and just like, oh my God, you know, whoa. Tell myself, I ain't doing all of that. <laughs> this is what I want. I've been wanting it. Like, what you talking about? This is something that I've been praying to God to, to get justice. And, it, and all of y'all know it too that's been watching my videos. It's what I've been wanting. But the thing is, it, it's not going to handle everything because it's just going to be pertaining to this one uh, individual. So it's not just going to be this one person. And this person already done went down the road going to tell something that's not true and for them to to keep an eye on when this post post up i have the freedom of speech and this person was parked right here in front of my window all night long and you tell me who is right and who is wrong I believe in if you have a problem with somebody, you stay away from them and wait until court date and then present your case. That's what I'm going to do, you know, and been doing. Oh, no, I just messed up my makeup. I believe that, you know, you stay your distance from someone that you claiming whatever. Anytime I reported something, I stayed away from people. You know, I didn't park my vehicle in front of somebody that I'm actually trying to hurt the sad thing is with lies and I got proof of all of it now I'm going to use this really waxy what is this is it really I mean it's got a plastic cover over it y'all hold on I was wondering why I couldn't see what the color y'all know that this palette is like a Huda Beauty dupe palette All right, so I'm going to go into this really waxy-like shade. Y'all know I got one like the Lumani. It's like going to make it look really wet. The look is going to look really wet. Hopefully, my eyes don't crease too much because y'all know my lids. But I'm going to use some of this. And I'll just say that this eyeshadow palette, let's go ahead and let's get off of that. Uh, but I had to answer the comments because y'all know me and I love y'all for loving me. Okay. I love y'all a lot. Um, I just said that this palette is really nice. Um, I do feel like I have to get used to it. Um, I feel like I do. I, I, I gotta get used to it. I know some of y'all probably going to say, what you mean you've been wearing eyeshadows and you got to get used to an eyeshadow? Sometimes, some eyeshadows you do because really I didn't have no kind of like idea as to what 
shades I should put on. Um, and also, some of the shades have been busted up, and I really didn't want to use those shades. I try to stay away from those. I used the ones that wasn't busted up. And probably me not being able to access those shades that was busted up or been busted up, probably I could have came out with a better look. I'm going to add just a little bit of pink up here, just kind of amp it up a little bit. Um... But y'all know what I'm saying. Like, I feel like the look could have been a lot better if I had more of a nicer look going on here. Like, with different shades. But I just didn't want to use those busted shades. The shades is all busted up. Get it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. God is so good. Okay, y'all, so I feel like this is probably as good as going to I feel like I should have used the pink tone. I really like the pink on this, and y'all going to see it here in a minute. The pink tone is so pretty. I like the pink tone better than the purple tone. It's like a pink purple tone type of look. Um, Hold on, y'all. Let me check something real quick. Um... Sorry, y'all. Let me check something. I'm sorry. I just heard an alarm on here. So, okay, nothing. All right. Um. So I'm gonna add on. I feel like when I put that wet color on there, I feel like I lost the whole purplish look so on top of it you can use that as a base or as a topper i'm gonna use this back on top of that little waxy eyeshadow yeah i feel like this look is like it's one of those looks i'm just like oh my god let me try this dry shade here, this purple shade on top. Maybe I can make it look like a purple, smoky tone look. Maybe. I'm not quite satisfied with the look, but it's not really that bad. But I think those missing tones I needed that was busted out of the palette. Feel like I could have created a better look than what I created, um, but it'll come together with some eyeliner and some mascara. But I think I'm just gonna leave it as that. I feel like it need to be blended out a little bit more in the crease right here. I'm gonna try to blend it out a little bit. Like that. And take this color up a little bit higher and on into the crease. Right there. And then blend it on the edge. Blend it on through with the pink and the purple tone here. Blend it. And it's not the best look, to be quite honest, but we're going to work with it again, maybe with the pink tones. I feel like it would have been a prettier look, but it's not too bad, but it's not the prettiest look. <laughs> okay. So what I could do is I could add on, the palette is not that bad. We'll talk about it here in, at the end. I could use the LA Colors like Liquid Eyeshadow. Um, it would match the pink on top. 
I kind of feel like using it though because I feel like when I use the ELF 16 hour camo concealer matte finish concealer I feel like that might have been a wrong thing that I did honestly I feel like maybe I shouldn't have used that so we're gonna use this liquid eyeshadow from LA colors see if we can bring in some pink tones here and maybe we can make this look a little bit better um, we'll see here in a minute and then I can like blend it out so it's still like that chrome eyeshadow but I can blend it if I want to like the edges and I probably will let me just go ahead and add this brush here and kind of blend the edge a little bit hmm still have a problem I think it's just my lids y'all I don't know what it is but this eyeshadow palette just ain't working I can't wait to get the new one I think it's because whoever busted it just not it's not <laughs> whoever busted it up is just they destroy this palette um it's a wonderful dupe palette but it's just like what the heck I'm gonna go ahead and add this on and go ahead and All right. I'm trying to put this color on the bottom. And I'm going to go back over with a liner. And y'all know how my makeup looks is. It starts out looking crazy, but you got to see it to the end. And then it all comes together here. All right. So I could grab probably this brush here. And maybe just kind of blend this a little bit. Blend the pink shade a little bit more. Where this purple just won't blend out. Y'all know I'm not the best at blending anyways. So I'm going to try to pull that pink on up. Even though it's starting to look really crazy. I almost feel like just putting one shade on my lid. Because that's not budging. And it's, it's not looking the best. Uh, as far as my eyeshadow, this eyeshadow palette is good, but it's just like, I think it's the concealer that I put on. I think that's what messed it up, but I mean, it's wearable, but it's just looking a little rough, you know? You know what? I'm just going to go in with one shade and that's it. That's what I'm going to do. And keep this pink on the top. I'm going to take this deeper tone here and just go ahead and cover this up. Because I feel like this is just not looking its best. Just going to go in and create a smoky tone. I should have looked. Going in. Okay, and just add this on. I think it looks cute on top of that purple LA Colors pencil. It doesn't look too intense, so it actually looks quite good in my opinion. It really does. Okay. 
stuff. I like that better. See there? Versus this side. Because the other one, I mean, it all of that, it just looks choppy and everything. So, I think very, when it pertains to this palette, very minimum amount of colors is better. Unless you're just such a professional that you know how to put this stuff on exactly the way it needs to be put on. But I do think the concealer messed it up. I don't think it worked really well with the concealer, to be quite honest. That is my opinion. And uh, so I would say if, if you is not a professional or you just an average person like I am putting on makeup and you may not be the best at blending, I say go with very minimum colors because now that looks really good to me. Um, but from the beginning with all the shades and all that stuff, to me it don't look good. Um, so I'm just filling everything in. So I have this purple like Smoky tone eye makeup look. That's what I'm getting right now. So that looks so much better to me. Um, I would add a highlighting color in the center, but I feel like let's try it. Here's one that's kind of busted up, but I do feel like it's a beautiful shade. Like it's busted, but I feel like it's a good shade. Like, see it? very chromatic shade and then I'm just gonna add I like a little highlight on my eyelid just a little bit even when I create smoky tone looks I like that little highlight in the center so it doesn't look too deep and too intense it's a little bit right there and I'm do the other eye as well Right now, I like this. I like this look. I'm gonna put some liner on today, and it's gonna look good with the dress that I have on right now. So, yeah, I like this look now. I knew I could figure it out some way, somehow to make this work. So, <laughs> I did. So, that looks so much better to me, even though it's taking so long. But I did do some talking so. Now, uh, it's time for the liner and the mascara. So, first of all, I'm going to put on my um, L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Y'all, this is so good. I highly recommend it. If you haven't tried it, you need to. Um, you need to try it. It's really nice. Um, Let's see here. Let's put on a coat of this. Okay. And I really do put it on there. So, and I do let it sit there and dry the primer, as y'all probably already know. Okay. All right. There we go. Now I'm gonna do the other eye. You can pack it on, y'all, but be careful about making sure you take this off every night, of course. I 
I think I've got that on. And I do think that this primer does grow out the lashes. My lashes is like really thick. Like look at that. I think it has something good in it for the lashes. All right. So I just do the top lashes, not the bottom. And I think I'm putting stuff in the wrong place. Yes, I am. This goes into another. Yeah, I made it in the wrong place. So I'm going to take a liner. I think I want a little bit of a liner today with this look. I would just put mascara on, but I feel like I want some liner. I want to fix up a little bit more. So I'm going to take this liner here, the Hoard Candy Merlin Moreau liner. And I'm going to go ahead and line my eye close to the lash line. I would love to put on a pair of falsies, but however, with the primer, I don't really need falsies, but. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to, I was going to do a wing, but I don't think so. Just going to line it there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put a little small liner there without a wing. All right, that's good. I feel like the primer got on this side, on the liner there. It looks kind of smudged out versus this side. Maybe that's just me, <laughs> but it looks like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little liner here on the side. And I like a thick liner here on the side. Like that, not too much. I figured that this look is so intense that a liner would be cute. Still, a liner there is very cute. Okay, all right, so. Now let's put on the mascara on the top lashes. Let's go through it. Wow, that liner did get in my lashes. Oh my goodness, like I should have did my lashes first. Okay, there we go. I'm going to probably comb them through with a spoolie. There we go. Looks good.
Oh yeah, y'all. I forgot to mention I've got a few more products that will be coming this week. Yes, I'm excited. They're products that are very unique. Um I can't wait to get them. It's supposed to be here by the weekend time should be by friday thursday or friday however friday i will be in another area having the fna of my thyroid uh, but i will create a makeup look using those products um yeah i went ahead and got them because I don't think that they, like, they only had, like, a few left on the site. And I was afraid to wait a few more days. I feel like they'll be gone for the price. It was really reasonable. So, I got some more items to come. So, y'all can look forward to some more makeup looks. And chit-chat videos. I need to get this hair. This one wild hair in my eye. Alright. I would say that that is good. I'm not going to go no further than that. I'll say I'm going to stop right there. But I'm going to put some mascara. No, I'm going to put a liner underneath my, my lower lash line. But, yeah, y'all. This is the look. I'm going to stop right there because I feel like, I don't know, this this palette, I feel like it didn't, it didn't work out with the concealer, the ELF Camo Concealer. And I'm surprised because usually that concealer works with everything, but it just didn't work out with this palette. Like, I felt like it really messed up the look. Uh but i made it work though it's still a nice look and i'll let y'all see it up close but now y'all let's get to because i'm gonna do my liner here but i'm gonna wait until i get my face makeup done so here we go we've got this powder brush we've got the i call this could be a foundation brush too or a contour brush this one is a foundation brush, okay? Um, this is a, what is it? A contour brush. I have to put bronzer on or a blush brush. But this one is probably more like a blush brush here. I'm going to try to use all of them. But the thing is, I want to use a beauty sponge. And believe it or not, my beauty sponge is almost completely dry. So let me dampen my beauty sponge because now we're going to go in with um, concealer. And I might use this brush to actually blend out the concealer. But I'm going to still wet my beauty sponge because it's time for the face makeup. Hold on. All right. So for concealer, I'm going to use... The Mali Beauty Concealer, I really like that. I don't really feel like I should use that little, what is it, that primer stuff, the orange primer. I'm going to try to just use this alone, but I don't know, y'all. We'll see what it looks like. If it looks bad, then I'm going to mix it with something else. But let's see. I'm going to put just a dot of concealer all right like that very little now, i'm not going to use my beauty sponge i think i'm going to use this right here even though this will be good for the bronzer but it's good for concealer too okay we're just going to go on with this and I have washed these brushes. I always wash my new brushes. Mm. 
my skin underneath my eyes is very dry. I almost feel like, I don't know, I probably should have used my regular primer. what it's looking like but I feel like with the brush it doesn't look like it's too bright like it does with the beauty sponge it looks very nice like this oh I'm hungry Hand me a bowl of cereal but did y'all hear that Now, I might go back in with a little bit more of the concealer. I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. I'll go in with just a little bit around that edge, like right around that side there. And blend it in. Just like that. And do the same thing on this side. Blend it. All right, I feel like I'm blending out some of the concealer, so we're gonna add just a little bit more right in there, that area right there, just right there on top. The same thing on this side. Same thing here. All right, so now we're going to take the airbrush, Sally Hansen Anti-Aging Airbrush Makeup SPF of 8. Um, it's in Natural Beige Spice. It's tan to deep skin. It's a healing beauty type of thing. So we're going to see how this works. Uh, Y'all, I have no idea. I have never used this stuff. I do not know. <laughs> we'll find out how it looks. Hopefully it looks good, but I really do not know. Okay. I'm going to use my wet beauty sponge and I'm going to spray the sponge. Okay. Cause this can't go in your eyes. Okay. Just saying this doesn't need to go on your eyes. So I'm going to spray it from over here. I might have to spread a little bit more, so. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I like it. It doesn't have a bad smell to it. No. Ooh, I like it. I feel like I'm going to have to go over again. Like a few times to get the amount of coverage. But I think one time will be good if you're going like to the doctor's office or something like that when you want a light coverage. I like it. I feel like you'll probably get more coverage with a brush. I want it to look like skin, like airbrush, you know, like it says. And I decided to use this beauty sponge. So go, I'm gonna spray some more. I'm going to put some on there, okay? So we're going to go up here on the forehead. And it's the perfect shade. So I really, I thought when I sprayed it on my arm, I thought, oh my God. I mean, it's it's a little bit more tanner than my skin tone. So, but it's a beautiful, wonderful bronze look. It's so pretty. I really like this. It's so pretty. I like how it feels on my skin too. It feels light. Like it has this light feeling. 
and I like the coverage. Like, ooh, I like this, y'all. So that makes me want to buy something else that I saw that's sort of similar to this. So I'm going to go over one more time because the forehead is done good. So I'm going to go over. Remember to shake it up, but on your applicator, not on your face. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and build up coverage on the bottom area on this side of my face. Okay. The thing is, you have to use product. So, <laughs> my, it, now that I like it, I feel like I'm going to have to buy another bottle of this. Just to make sure I don't run out so quick. I like it. Now, remember, less it, sh it shows up a little bit more natural. It'll show like your little, little imperfections or your little areas that you might want to cover but of course if you spray more just like i just did i did a second layer and it's like full coverage y'all and it has like this nice glow to it that i'm noticing and i'm liking it too it has like this nice glow that is beautiful it is so pretty i like this y'all and i remember when they had this like when they used to sell this. Like you have to buy it now online at some of the retailers online. It's still sold. Like you can still buy it. But it's not where it used to be. Like I used to could go right to uh, regular stores and things like that and see this makeup. And I never tried it. I don't recall trying this makeup because I thought, oh, I don't want no spray for no... A foundation I just rather have a liquid but y'all this is so cute and what I'm doing right now I'm just pouncing this um, beauty sponge to get it in there so to drown up so I can get ready to put on my bronzer I love this this is so cute I have to say it's like a natural finish okay very very good if y'all want to try something that's this is like an old school product but they still per uh what is it they still sell this product now y'all know sally henson has a lot of tanning products for the legs or whatnot now i feel like you might can use this also as a tanning product if i wanted to put some on my chest um, if I wanted to put some on my legs, my arms, I could, but I just thought I would let y'all know, okay? But I really like that. So in return, what I want to do is I want to put some more concealer on, but with this not completely dry, I'm not going to do that. So now what I'm going to do is... I got to wash all this stuff because this is the airbrush makeup. I had to wash all of my uh, brushes and things like that. So what I'm going to do now is add on my bronzer like I always do. I add on my bronzer. This is the part where I add on my bronzer. So I'm going to grab, I'm not going to put on any powder. So I think I'm going to use this powder brush as my bronzer brush and for bronzer, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to use a glowing bronzer or a matte bronzer. I feel like I want to use something a little bit matte. I was going to use the uh, Maybelline 4-in-1 Protector uh, Glow Makeup as my bronzer. But I feel like I want something a little bit more matte-like. And then I feel like in a way I don't want nothing cream-like material type of stuff i just want a powder bronzer and i think this one by cover fix i believe this is one of my favorites it is a little deep in tone but it's absolutely amazing bronzer here so i'm gonna add just a little bit of this on and yeah that works i figured i didn't need a like a cream bronzer so i'm just gonna put a little bit on here on the back portions of my cheeks it's right up in there as you can see there because i don't want to mess up 
like the beautiful like glow that this airbrush makeup is providing that's why i don't want to use the other like glow makeup bronzer that i use because i love this light glow that i'm getting from the sally henson product i'm gonna add some on my forehead here and y'all y'all can be able to see this even better here in a minute i'm gonna show y'all the look um this is just too cute i love the finish of this this is like mm -hmm. you can add powder on top of it. i feel like it's not too weird looking because you know how sometimes like you can use a spray type of product on the face and it may like powders may not work really good with it well i think it works good with the powder on top of it but i will say let it dry make sure if you use a beauty sponge that you give it time to dry and all of that good stuff so everything is in its best and so that is the bronzer but i'm gonna smooth it out with my concealer brush I mean it's neat knit it up a little bit look at that so good and i'm gonna bring down that concealer as well so it doesn't look like it's just underneath my eyes there i want to make it a little bit more trying to think of words y'all but I just want to smooth it out a little bit and clean it out a little bit. Now, taking my brush here, I'm going to go through there and blend it just a little bit. I don't want to put that back in there because of the spray. You know the spray there. All right, so I think that's pretty good. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Like that's good enough for me for the contour of my nose and all that. <laughs> I got a thick nose, so that's just what it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, one thing I didn't do is I didn't add the little spray underneath my, y'all know my jawline. I always do that. The brushes is very good. They will be good for every day. It doesn't have to be like traveling brushes, but if you were going to travel, these will be good brushes to take with you. They're soft. It blended out my um, bronzer, as y'all saw, or as y'all seen. So, yeah, I'm just dragging that down just a little bit. I'm going to wash my beauty sponge as soon as I get done because that has that spray on there. So if I go in with foundation and concealer, I want to make sure that this sponge is washed okay all right so that is done now i'm looking at um blush like what kind of blush would i want to use with this look um hmm, i do not even know what kind of blush i would like to use i mean i kind of look at this and go this is very very pretty blush but when i put it on it's not as beautiful as this because the bronzer and y'all know how i love my bronzer so i feel like just keeping it bronze uh i think i'm gonna use a bronzer powder and i'm gonna get the she glam mystic contouring palette and i'm gonna add like one of these bronzer tones like this one on top and just wear that as a bronzer um it's a bronzer blush.
but not. So I'm going to use another one of these brushes here and just dip it in there. Good. So maybe I don't have to dip back in there. So just going to add that right there and then just blend it. And this may be too much, but then again, it may be just right. So I like the bronzy cheeks. I feel like I'm going to have to dab back in there. And just keep the cheeks bronzy. This used to be something I did all the time. A lot of people be like, oh, that's so cute. I'd be like, yep, it is cute. Add a little bit more there so it'd be even on both sides here. Very nice. And I'm going to go back in now with a little bit. This is so soft, y'all. I'll tell y'all more about it. It is so soft. I think I'm going to go in with this yellow color here, the yellow powder. So to add in more concealer, I'm going to go in with this yellow powder here and just kind of like, oh, yes, highlight underneath my eyes there and right by my nose. Uh-huh. I like that look. See here versus that side. I like it. Do the same thing on this side. All right. And we got everything well contoured. However, I feel like I messed up the bronzer on my nose. Y'all know how I am. I'm very in particular about everything staying in place. All right. I think that's pretty good. I just used the yellow powder. I can, You know what? I think I'm going to use the yellow powder also on my forehead as well. Just to highlight. Oh, yes. I like this look. I need to smooth that out just a little bit, though. I feel like I might have used just a tad bit too much. We'll see how it looks. Um, I can grab the sponge and kind of blend that out a little bit so it's not too highlighted. There we go. I like that. Okay, so you guys, I like that. So it's time for lipstick. Y'all done heard about the Cover Fix um, product. Yeah. So I got two brushes that I didn't use, but I'm pretty sure y'all gonna see it in another video. So stay tuned. And yeah, liner, y'all, and lipstick. So the liner, I'm gonna take the same color that I used, the deeper tone around the purple look i'm gonna take it and apply it right on top of this purple eyeshadow it's really pink purple but it's pretty just gonna add that on that's like a base it's like you can leave it as the way i put it on or if you want a liner, then just go back in. I'm trying to make the liner not so intense. I'm using one of the brushes here. You can use this as an eyeshadow. Uh, not as an eyeshadow, but an eyebrow brush or a liner. It's totally up to you. All right, there we go. Same thing here.
I lined it really well because I'm not going in with a black liner but I'm gonna clean up right underneath my eyes in case I have any fallout there all right that looks good I still feel like I want a blush I really do I feel like I need a blush and I feel like that's what I'm missing is a blush color so let's see um I don't want a cream because I told y'all I like the way this foundation looks oh my gosh this looks so good <laughs> I do want to put just a little bit more of this spray on my neck area just a little bit and you don't need powder it dries up just beautifully but you have like this beautiful glowy natural looking skin that I like <laughs> It looks amazing. What a great choice. And I didn't hardly pay much for that. It's just so nice. I love it. And so now, blush and then lipstick. The blush, I don't know. I don't want to go with a cream blush. I want to go with a powder. Um, I feel like I'm so limited with blush. That's something that I need to buy is a blush palette. I mean, I have this palette that I use as a blush palette. It's really an eyeshadow palette. But you know what? I'm just going to have to use it. Because I need a really good blush palette. Like this is the Clean Color Pro Bold eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to take this brush here. So I'm going to have one left in this one. Uh, foundation brush. I'll use that probably tomorrow. Probably. But I don't know. I'll probably use this beauty sponge. I don't know. But i use it another time. So I feel like going in because I got pink and purple tones. Like it, I feel like this purple would be cute. But then I'm thinking, is that wearable though? <laughs> like is it gonna, like I don't want to look. All the way I'm gonna find out is to try it. So I'm going to try this purple tone just to see what it's going to look like on my skin. I don't know. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of this red, this bright red color. And see if we can come up with a, like a burgundy like color, maybe. Fill my battery. There it is, y'all. Like it looks, it looks okay, but I think it's just a unique. Uh, I don't know. It's just unique, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. I use a little bit more more red on this side, so I think I'm gonna go back in and use the red a little bit, and then I'm gonna grab my sponge and just kind of soften it up a little bit, so it doesn't look like this side doesn't look too bad. But the other side, this side looks like really intense. So I'm going to take the sponge with the foundation and kind of go back over it and soften this up a little bit. There we go. Soften it up. Same thing over here. Just take it and just soften it up with the foundation. Yes, that looks better to me. All right, so got that softened up, and then I can go back and tap it with more product just a little bit, but I think that's good enough. Now we need blush. I mean, not blush, but lipstick. I just did blush. Okay. All right, y'all. We're finally, finally at the finish zone okay so hopefully the battery lasts okay because the battery is telling me you know what harry get done 
So we're going to go with something. I think I'm going to go with something vibrant. I got out my lipsticks the other day. Some that I have in my collection. Um, I don't want nothing really deep. But I want like a pink or a hot pink color. I really don't want this color. This is like a red. No, I don't want that one. This is in... I don't want that color either. That would not match. Actually, I feel like I'm going to have to use a pink. This is in... This is a uh, Rimmel lipstick. And it's in the shade Candy. And... It's very, it's like a shimmer tone. Really natural like. And I feel like using it without a liner. I'm going to add a gloss. Okay, I'm going to add my gloss to it. That's not it. The Hoard Candy Insta Pout Gloss. Add that to it. Give it a little shine. And that's one thing I hate about... What is it? These... Frosty Tone Lipsticks. They reveal every line on the lid. I can't stand that. That's why I don't buy a lot of Frosty Tone Lipsticks. But I feel like that was the only one that I had that would match the makeup look. That I'm going to stand back and let y'all take a look at it. Okay. I'm trying to put this back into the container where I have it. All right, y'all. So voila. This is the look. But y'all, let me fix my hair. Let me put on my dress. And I have on my dress, but I haven't put on the sleeve part yet. And let me fix my hair. And we're good. Okay. Let me do this. All right, you guys. So this is the look. This is the finished result. I am loving it. So what I'm going to do is quickly go over my review real quick. And then I'm going to grab the camera, stand back, let y'all take a look at the look without the extra, the little ring light that I have on, which is... I pushed it back and it's still like it's daylight. I got my blind up. So, yeah. But I use that lighting so when I put on my makeup, y'all can see it really good. But anyways, you guys, really quick. The brushes here, I highly recommend them. They're very soft on the skin. Um, and they blend it out the way that they're supposed to. I mean, I use the... The concealer with this brush here, and then I turn around and use the powder on top of it with the same brush, and it gave me that highlighted effect. So these brushes, this brush set is really nice. I got them for like $5 and some change, y'all. Really, really like the face brushes. Now the, the I guess you can say the eye brushes, I don't care for these. Okay, um, I just feel like they're not big enough and they should have put in a crease brush, a bigger brush, and then maybe some, maybe this brush right here. The liner brush, I would say, is, is pretty good, and this one here is pretty good, but I really don't care for them because they're very small. And plus, if you were going to take this on a trip then how in the world would, would you be able to blend out your eyeshadows if you really want to fix up? I had to use some of my eyeshadows that I already have, like some good blending brushes to blend out everything. So the eye brushes, I don't like, okay? But the face brushes is amazing, okay? 
and the color, the marble print and all of that, beautiful. Okay, I really like that. But the eye brushes, I would say no good. So just in case you see these brushes, just know that basically you're getting face brushes. You're not getting eye brushes. Okay. All right. So the um, anti-aging airbrush makeup uh, SPF of 8 Healing Beauty Sally Hansen Foundation in natural beige and spice i love it it's perfect color perfect tone it is so beautiful i mean now i'm just like which one do i like best best <laughs> okay which one do i like the best do i like sally uh not sally but do i like yeah do i like sally hansen or do i like the mally beauty Okay, I like them both. I feel like both of these are going to be favorites in my collection. I wear both of them a lot. Okay, I'll, I'll switch, go back and forth. But I feel like, you know, like I said, with the Mally Beauty, it's a natural finish. But Sally Beauty has a little bit more coverage. It's more like a glamour type finish that you or bridal type finish makeup, the ones that I got. This one is like really, really natural. Like it, it's almost, it's not even close to this. Like the Maybelline, what is it? Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Makeup. It's very natural. This is also natural, the Sally Henson Airbrush Makeup. But I feel like, the Sally Hansen has more coverage, but looks natural. When this one has like some coverage, but a very glowy finish that makes it super, super more intense. Or more intense natural. Okay, so this one, it throws off an a airbrush finish, which is natural. But you do get coverage. And this one, you get some coverage, but then you get more of a glow. So if y'all understand what I'm saying. So I feel like this one will be my natural makeup when I want some coverage. This will be my natural makeup when I just want a nice luminous finish to my skin. When I want my skin to look uh, very hydrated, but have some coverage too. But it's more about that glow look. Okay. All right. So, really like this. I like the spray. Remember, if you buy this, do not spray this on your face and want to and try to blend it out. You put it on your brush, okay, or your beauty sponge, like I did. Then you go in and and put the product on. Do not put this product on your eyes. It's the same as the other product I told y'all about. Do not put this stuff on your eyes. You use a an eyelid primer or a concealer like I did or something like that to prep your eyelids. Do not use this on your eyes. Put the product on your beauty sponge like I did. Y'all know I'm a beauty sponge. Away from you. Spray it. Then apply it on your face. But not on your eyelids. Okay? All right. So that is that. I really like that. This is my most favorite i like the brushes too but this is my most favorite because i feel like i found another great natural finish foundation okay so really like that the palette okay the palette um the rose crystal i like this palette but but it came all busted up so i wasn't able to really use the pink tones in here I do feel like the pink tones look, they really stand out a little bit more than the purple tones. Uh, but I didn't get to really use them except for this color here and that color. But I would have loved to use this color here, which I wasn't going to use because, I mean, it's completely destroyed. That one right here and this one too. Like I had to basically just push that color back in there. Um, I think that this palette is good. But I do feel like, for me, it was hard to blend out. Um, some of the shades is hard to blend out, such as, uh, which one? This one is hard to blend out. Um, 
and even the deeper tone one this one here was easy was not easy but it was hard to blend out as you can see on my eyelids like i could have blend that out a little bit more and it would look a little bit more cute but y'all i feel like the shadows is a little bit hard to blend out but the shadows is pretty and i feel like if you're a little bit more professional like as far as a good professional blender, you may not have no problem with this. You might know exactly what kind of eyelid primer to use to smooth it out. And I could have used the product. I just happen to think, why did I not use that, um, you know, those little eyeshadow, little lipstick things that I have that could have smoothed that out and I could have blended it? Okay. I just thought about that. But anyways, I would say that this palette is nice to get. Um but it's a dupe palette in my opinion to the huda beauty but i just say no okay i would say no to this one but i'm glad i have it because i will use these shimmer tones if nothing else okay the matte tones seem to be the hardest okay but the hardest to blend is what i'm talking about and the shimmer tones is easy because you can just put your finger in there add it on as you can see the shimmer tone on my lid there the shimmer tones are beautiful actually all the colors are beautiful but i have to say the matte tones are hard to blend okay you might have to use a special type of primer or something like that to blend it out but anyways y'all i'm gonna show y'all my outfit and then i'll show y'all my makeup let me hurry up because my battery is low all right so this is my outfit here y'all yes <laughs> do y'all remember when i wore this dress in a fashion video some time back the belt doesn't match but i didn't want to put on one of my thicker belts i just wanted a smaller belt but this is so unique dress because it looks like aluminum foil, doesn't it? And I said that when I first got the dress. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know it's going to look like this. But it's actually quite cool and it's very nice and I like it. I like the ruching in the front. Let me pull the camera down a little bit so y'all can see. I mean, it's a dress. It's a dress that's not going to be like everybody's favorite uh but i just think it's very unique it's something that's different and that's one reason why i got it and i thought oh, this would be nice to show because everybody's style is different and sometimes it's good to put something in that's unique and different and so i thought i've always thought this dress was unique and different um it has the balloon sleeves as you can see um it is that silver aluminum foil type of color um so i matched it with a black belt and yeah y'all need to change shoes real quick hold on i put on my pair of my new ones um these will be the ones that i'm gonna wear a lot and y'all, I need a pedicure. Nobody has to tell me that. I really need to, but I'm scared. I tell, I'll talk to y'all about that. I want to get a pedicure, but I'm just too scared right now to get a pedicure. I'm trying to do it myself, and yeah, I'm not good at it, but I'm going to try to fix this dry skin. I usually oil it down real good, and y'all can't tell it, but it's starting to look real rough. So if y'all see my heels dry and all that stuff, just know that I'm just a little bit worried about going to get pedicures and all that stuff right now. Um, anyways, y'all, this dress, this is it. It's like almost knee length and it's ruched in the front. Got the balloon sleeves and the sleeves is connected to the dress. And this is what it looks like in the back. And in the back, the only thing about this dress, even when I got it, is that I always have a problem with everything dipping down here on my back. I mean, I can't help that, but it does. It, everything that I get seems like it want to dip in the back. And it's just one of those things, y'all. I, Like I said, I'm a curvy girl. And so, and I'm plus size. So some areas on me is smaller than other areas. But I have to pick a size that will fit my thighs, my, my hips, my legs. 
And so, and then sometimes on the top, it doesn't fit right. Like I got extra room. Look at all this room I got in the front. But look right here around my hips and thighs. It fit perfect. So that's the curvy plus size girl type of thing, if you know what I mean, especially if you're curvy. Um, that's the way it is. You pick a size. You know you got to pick a size for your thighs and your hips to be able to get in it. So... Sometimes the top part just don't, it just don't match. Like it won't work good with the bottom. And y'all know this if you're curvy and plus size that this happens. So a lot of times, a lot of plus size curvy girls, we have to go and get our stuff um, fixed, like altered and stuff and to get it to work perfectly. But anyways, y'all, I just thought if you saw that, then you know what's up. And the sandals that I have on is these sandals that I got from Walmart. I'll show it to y'all. Got me some new ones. They're like white uh, soles there on the bottom. And then they're black in the front. Y'all got these for a dollar. So I got these. And these are not the dressy or dressier ones i got another pair i'm going to show you a black pair that will match this but these are going to be my everyday like especially doctor appointments and stuff like that these will be the ones that i'm going to wear they're so comfortable right now i'm going to keep them on probably for the rest of the day but <laughs> they're very very nice and comfortable i got them for a dollar so that's what that looks like you know they kind of look like just they're kind of, you know, you can you can wear these as dressy sandals and as casual, I feel. Because they look like a shoe, but yet they're a sandal. It's like a shoe and a sandal together. I really like those, okay? Right now, since it's still sort of warm out, it's still warm, but we're changing seasons, okay? So here's the other pair that I got. These right here that everybody talked about, the ones that has like the rope design. These were also a dollar. And I'll show you what it looks like with a little bit more of a dressier heel or a dressier pair of sandals. My feet is, okay, my feet is swollen from the surgery a little bit. Uh, I did my best to put them on, but y'all, this is what they look like right now. My leg is a little swollen. Uh, from surgery, but that's that's normal. But this is what they look like, y'all. So that's a dressier pair of sandals. So yeah, y'all, y'all got to see the dress. Once again, I turn around. This is the outfit of the day, a OTD. So yeah, all right, y'all. So that's that. And I don't want to wear those quite yet. Not yet. Not while my feet is a little swollen. All right, y'all. So now I didn't show y'all my makeup. Here's the true view of the makeup. I'm getting back from the lighting here. Um, let me pull it down a little bit. Maybe that helped. This is the true view. This is away from the lighting. This is what it looks like. There's the blush, the blush palette, and this is the finish. Look at this finish, like the Sally Hansen Airbrush Healing Beauty Spray. Love it. It is really pretty. It is airbrushed. It really is. I feel like my makeup looked different from the other foundations I've showed y'all. Like, I know that this has to be an airbrush finish makeup because I'm in love with it. And I just think I look absolutely fabulous. Looks natural. It just looks like I have, it looks like nothing's there. And I just put makeup on. And that's what airbrush makeup supposed to look like. It's supposed to like just kind of smooth out any or cover the imperfections on the skin 
but yet look natural. And that's what it's looking like to me. The only thing you see is like my contour shade. You see my eyeshadows. You see my blush. You see my lipstick. But other areas of my face, like over here and here on top right there, it looks natural. And that's what airbrush is supposed to look like. So, yeah, you guys. So, this is how everything's looking. I like it. I like the colors. Even though the eyeshadow palette was pretty, wasn't it what I expected it to be? But I have to say the shimmers, y'all, look at the shimmer on my lid. Like, the shimmers is worth getting that palette, even if the mattes isn't. Okay, so the shimmers is beautiful. All right, y'all, so that is the makeup, okay? So I'm going to put this back in place, this camera. Now everything's looking yellow because the blind is down. We're going to pull that blind back up. And y'all, this is the look, okay? This is the look close to the window and this little bitty, just a little bitty ring light I have right there so y'all can really see everything in action. But y'all, this is the OOTD, which is outfit of the day. And... I like the whole look, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, I'm busy to get ready. Like, I'm busy to make me some lunch. It's like 3 o'clock. It's time for lunch or something. I'm busy to make me some lunch, and then I'm going to just relax, look at the news, watch something on the Internet or something like that, watch some YouTube videos, and then, of course, um, yeah, get ready for my appointment tomorrow, which is super duper early. I have to be up and going very early in the morning. So I need to get my clothes together and stuff like that. I got to wash these, these brushes and this beauty sponge. And just know this, I think I've already said it. I think I've said it over here. Be yeah, I've already said this, but I don't think I said it on my Sheila Shemay channel. And yes, I did. Yes, I did with my previous video. I don't know about my videos for tomorrow, which is Monday, Cheek Monday, Taylor Tuesday, and Ready to Wear Wednesday, just because I have all these appointments set up. Thursday and Saturday, yes, because I have appointment out of town on Friday. So the only two days that I have basically will be Thursday and Saturday. However, I'm really going to try to do Cheek Monday tomorrow. I'm really going to try to do that because my appointment is early. I feel like I can come back in time and create a video. Um, and who knows, I might can even do uh, Tuesday, but then that's out of the, the all of these appointments are out of the area. So it's like, I don't know if I'm going to feel like creating a video, but I'm going to try my best. But if I don't create a video for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, y'all know why I have appointments. And then also on Friday, I have my FNA, which is the, what, what that is, is a biopsy of the uh, nodule of my thyroid. And then from there, I can be able to get treatment for my thyroid and i need that very bad so y'all um yeah so that's what's all scheduled for this week and then next week i'll have a little bit of a break okay um i have actually the whole month of september is not too many appointments so i feel like i'm going to really be um, having a lot of videos going on. So anyways, y'all, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all and y'all. I, I love everything that y'all do. All of your kind words, your encouraging words and y'all explaining to me and just telling me your own experiences and what you have going through personally in your life. It helps us to get strong and grow and be a better person because we get to know, you know, that we are not alone against evil, wicked, satanic cult people. And you know what? I appreciate all of y'all for all of your encouragement and all of y'all.